Got a girl's number you like? Big deal, right? Now you're probably wondering how to keep your texts cool and not boring. It's crucial to nail this because your texts can really boost your dating game. To avoid being dry when texting a girl, try these tips. Number one, text her at the right time of the day. To keep things interesting and not come off as dry when texting a girl, timing is crucial. Avoid sending texts late at night, like at 11 p.m., unless you're aiming for a casual relationship. To show you're interested in more than just a fling, text her during more appropriate times of the day. Being mindful of when you text can make a big difference. Also, consider her schedule. Avoid texting during her work hours unless she starts the conversation. This shows that you respect her time and you're serious about building a connection. Number two, be conversational. Text her the way you'd talk in person. If texting feels tricky, think about how you chat with friends and family. Aim to be just as comfortable texting her. This approach will help you more naturally text and keep the conversation lively and engaging. Number three, know when to close the curtain. Knowing when to wrap up a chat is key. It's common to want to keep the conversation going because you like the person, but when it's winding down, that is fine. Don't force it to continue. It'll only get more strained and awkward. If you're into her, aim to leave the conversation on a high note, and then touch base again in a few days, one or two or whatever. This approach keeps things fresh and avoids dragging the chat out until it's dry. Number four, keep it light. Keep things light and breezy in your texts, especially early on. Diving into heavy topics right away might not end well. There are exceptions, like if you're already dating or you know she enjoys deep conversations. In those cases, go ahead and delve into more substantial topics. But generally, sticking to light and fun topics is your best bet. Number five, know when to walk away if she's not interested. If she seems to be blowing hot and cold, it's a sign that she might not be as into you as you are into her. Recognizing when someone isn't interested is unbelievably important. You deserve someone who's genuinely keen, not someone who plays games. Chasing after someone who's not interested will only lead to lackluster and forced conversations. Take these signals as a cue to move on to someone who values your interests and reciprocates your enthusiasm. Number six, be bold and flirtatious. Flirting adds a spark to your texts, making the conversation more lively and fun. It's a great way to test the waters to see if there's actual chemistry between you two. If she flirts back, you are on the right track. Making her laugh while flirting? Even better. It not only brightens the chat, but it also shows your playful side, which is a big plus. Number seven, don't give brief answers. Avoid one-word replies if you don't want to come off as uninteresting or boring. A simple yes or no hardly gives her anything for her to build on. Be more engaging by expanding on your answers. If she asks you a question that could be answered with one word, add some detail or a follow-up thought. It keeps the conversation flowing and it shows you're invested in talking to her. She'll definitely appreciate the effort and thoughtfulness behind your messages. Number eight, don't act too desperate. If she doesn't respond immediately, resist the urge to send a barrage of messages. Flooding her inbox can come across as eager or clingy, which might push her away. Trust that she's seen your text and will reply when she can. Giving her the space to respond in her own time shows respect for her pace and her life's demands. Patience here is key. It demonstrates your maturity and your understanding. Number nine, be genuinely interested in her. To keep the conversation engaging and far from dry, make it a point to show genuine interest in her life. Asking about recent events, like an exam she had or a trip she returned from, demonstrates that you're attentive and you care about her experiences. Disinterest can make texts feel dull, so actively engaging with her about her life sends the message that you're, hey, actually listening and interested in what she has to say. This approach not only makes the conversation more interesting, but it also deepens your connection. Number 10. Take advantage of memes and emojis. Definitely use memes, gifs, emojis. They're great tools to add flavor to your conversations. If you're stuck on what to say, a well-chosen gif or relatable meme can keep the vibe light and fun. Emojis and smileys are perfect for adding emotion to your text, although you live in this world and this modern day, so you probably know how to use emojis. But you know that they're especially handy in showing your reactions and keeping the conversation from feeling too formal or dry. So don't shy away from sprinkling these elements into your chats. Number 11, match her vibe. 
Absolutely, getting a sense of her texting style and mirroring it can make a big difference. It's all about finding that sweet spot when you're engaging with her in a way that feels natural and fun for both of you. If she's into emojis or enjoys a good ha-ha-ha-ha-ha in her messages, join in. Show that you're on the same wavelength. Just remember, while adapting to match her vibe, stay true to your own style, too. This approach helps keep the conversation fluid, and it shows that you're making an effort to connect without losing your own identity in the process. Number 12. Don't be too mysterious. Skipping the mysterious act is a wise advance here. While the allure of being enigmatic might be appealing on TV, in real text conversations it really doesn't work the same way. Being mysterious can lead to misunderstandings and might even come off as disinterest. Direct communication and showing your true self is far more advisable here. Forget about waiting days to text or never initiating. Those games don't help build genuine connections. Just be yourself and let your interactions be a reflection of that honesty. What you should never forget while you're texting a girl. Number one, remember why you started. Always remember the end game. You're not aiming to become lifelong texting buddies. The goal of texting should ideally to be to set up an in-person date. Keep steering the conversation towards making plans to meet up, and don't rely solely on texts to build your connection. If things are going well, consider elevating your communication by calling or sharing social media profiles. That can deepen your connection and make it easier to transition from texting to face-to-face -to -face interactions. Number two, never be pressured to talk to her. Texting should come from a genuine place of interest, not obligation. In this day and age, connecting with someone should be about wanting to share a piece of your day or getting to know them better. If you're not feeling the connection, it's okay to step back. But if you're excited to talk to her, let that enthusiasm drive your conversations. The key to avoiding dry texts is simple. Text because you're interested in the conversation and the person you're texting. This sincerity makes all the difference in creating engaging and meaningful interactions. Number three, it's okay to be human. Letting your guard down to show some vulnerability can indeed be daunting for pretty much everybody, especially in the early stages of getting to know someone. Yet it's a powerful way to infuse depth and sincerity into your conversations. Opening up even just a bit signals to her that you are invested in the conversation and in building a connection. It adds layers to your interactions, moving beyond surface-level chat. So, every once in a while, share something personal or express your feelings. It shows you trust her and you're willing to take that step into more meaningful territory, making the conversation anything but dry. Number 4. Be jovial. Being an interesting person is key to keeping your texts engaging. When you're involved in various activities and pursuits, you naturally have more to talk about. While enjoying your hobbies, like gaming, is great, balancing them with other experiences enriches your life and your conversations, so socialize, explore new places, dive into new activities, and embrace adventures. Living a full, vibrant life not only makes you more interesting as a person, but it also gives you plenty of exciting topics to share in your texts. She's likely going to be more eager to keep that conversation going, curious about what you'll do next or what the next story is. Number five. I have a sense of humor. Making her laugh is such a good strategy, and it's time-tested. Everybody knows it. Even though humor can sometimes be tricky to convey through text, and sarcasm might not always come across as intended, humor remains a powerful tool to keep the conversation lively and engaging. Use your unique sense of humor to your advantage. Whether it's witty remarks, clever jokes, or funny observations, sharing a laugh can make a memorable connection. They say laughter is the way to someone's heart, and in the realm of texting, it can certainly make you stand out and potentially win her over. Just be real. Go with the flow, open up a bit, and keep things interesting. These are your go-tos to make sure that you're not stuck in boring text land. But hey, don't forget the big picture. You want to meet up, not just text forever. Make sure you don't get too cozy just chatting away. Aim for that date.